Hey, what is up guys and girls? It is the man with the best moustache on YouTube, Grief Drums, and today we're going to be taking a look at some advanced map tips and tricks on the map Tower. Now I say advanced, this map is so horrendous, there is so little to give away and to advise you on. I mean, just don't play it, that would be my advice, but hey, some people like it, so we're going to go ahead and cover up a few of the things that I have found have helped me, so hopefully they help you. First up is in this main gallery area. There are two hatches as you are, as a lot of attackers try and approach from here. You obviously got to be careful of the elevator just here as a lot of people drop there. But by opening one of these hatches, you can do it on either one. I personally do it on the front one. Chuck a Valkyrie camera up there. You can get a good old line of sight as to when people are going to be coming towards you. Now, obviously your camera is most likely going to get taken out. You don't even need to use a camera. You could probably just listen out for them. But you can lob a nitro cell. So because I've got a camera up there, I'll show you exactly where this lands. You're going to get at least one or two picks from there. As I said, you do need to be careful of the elevator. So another option is to move to the other hatch, which is further back. As you can see from this camera, I'm now underneath that other hatch. So you can do exactly the same on there. It's kind of cheeky. It's a little bit naughty, but I kind of like it. Okay, so now we're going to go on to a drone spot. Now, as far as drone spots go, for me, out of every single map in the entire game, this is the best drone spot. I love it. But um, long story short, the upstairs roof access bit, if you are just in front of the elevator on the north side, turn to your right and you've got this little drone hole. Follow that all the way down and you'll get onto the sort of mezzanine flooring that everyone hangs out upon. This is the bit where the defenders can't get on top of, but then the attackers just sit on here for like the entire duration of the round. But if you go all the way to this point here, all the way to the end, you can see the uh, gift shop just down there in front of us. Turn up and right and jump onto this area. Go all the way to the top, do a 180 degrees, and you can get on top of this silver uh air duct or piping and you can go all the way around this gives an insane line of sight and one that i genuinely just cannot recommend enough the view that it gives you of both the the upper floor and the lower floor is just insanely good and really handy if your teammates are dead and are watching this the rotations they can spot are insane even if defenders who are normally hanging around in this sort of an area in the offices they like to watch down here just to get a line of sight as to what's going on your drone can still pick them out because they normally do sit quite close to the door. If you want to get a further look in, you can go even further around to the left. The other alternative is when you get onto the mezzanine flooring and the maintenance bit, go up and right at the end instead of going left and you've got another silver duct there. You can go all the way around the outside on this and get a view of the other side of the map. Again, you get to cover all of this stairs and all of this area. It stops those rotations or at least gives you a heads up of those rotations on both the upper and lower floor. Whether people are moving anywhere across this area, they're not. it's not really somewhere you're going to be looking for a drone. Um, even all the way over to this sort of north side here, you can still see quite far under. So it is really handy. Another really handy spot to leave your drone is over here in the centre atrium because those other drone spots don't really offer any line of sight onto this bit. However, I don't like you know, drone spots where it takes you five years to get into them. So this is nice and simple. Come up to the bird bit on the mezzanine flooring and then you've got this section here just to your right. Jump up on the middle panel, the second bit along and the TVs are just below you. All you have to do is drive off. You don't have to spend six hours jumping because some people, they put these drone spots up that take about five years. I mean, yeah, there are a few I quite like that take a little while, but I mean, how simple is that one? Whilst on the topic of the mezzanine flooring or the balcony, whatever you want to call it, this spot just here, is a high traffic area. A lot of people try and attack this window or thermite open this main wall to the media center. So because these are reinforceable as a defender, what you can do, I'll go ahead and reinforce it just to show you. By putting the reinforcement up, like several other maps, it doesn't go all the way to the top. Um, no, in fact, I'll leave that one. What you can do is just by shotgunning open the top of this, it then affords you the opportunity to throw stuff over there, whether that's an impact grenade to take out thermite charges, Hibana charges, and you can even get a bit of a line of sight up onto the mezzanine floor. And you need your back all the way to the wall, but you can just about make out the top of heads from here. 
And it's very difficult for them to see what's going on the other way round because they don't get a great line of sight. But you can, as you can see, the bullet's just there. Because of the angle you're getting, you can just about take people's heads off. The other option is as an attacker, if you're on the outside of the wall, you can open this up like Buck. Now, I'm going to pretend that was a frag grenade, because obviously I'm not playing as Buck right now. But you throw a frag grenade over there, it's going to rebound off the wall onto this section where a lot of people like to hang out. So if you've drawn them out and they're hanging around in this area, opening the top of that and throwing a grenade in is not going to hurt, because you're going to guarantee at least a lot of damage dealt. Now, as we all know, a lot of attackers like to drop through the elevator shaft and push into this aspect of the media center. So as they do, they're going to get their heads taken off by you if you use this. By coming into the company reception where the gold is just near these set of stairs and opening this wall just behind you, just shotgun open a little bit. You don't have to do a massive amount, um, but it affords you a line of sight. If you do the wall just to your right as well, I'll go around there and show you exactly what this shows. It then gives you a line of sight through three different rooms all the way onto the elevator shaft. You just tap fire, spray away. I mean, if you've got someone with an ACOG like Doc, you, you're absolutely laughing. You're obviously going to need some help setting this up if you are Doc. But these rounds come all the way through to here. Even if you're not defending the media center, you'll get some tasty picks with this one. Next up is the kitchen area downstairs and the restaurant. You've obviously got this bird room. Now... Even if you're not defending this room, you can utilize this. It's a really clever way to do it. But jumping up onto here and looking at this wall, you want to aim directly in line with this and then onto this little bird shadow. And just put some little holes with your pistol or... I mean, you could use a higher caliber weapon, but the wall is more likely to be opened up. By doing one of these little lines with pistol holes, you can then see the daylight on the other side. This allows you to see if it gets blocked. You can see when someone is walking down the stairs. It is a really cheeky little trick. So as you're coming down these stairs just here, you come around and you've obviously got this big sign here. Well, just under that, there's these cheeky little holes. Now, no one is going to see those because their feet are going to be exposed first. You will see them way before they can see you. And as you can see, it's hidden just underneath this sign. It's a cheeky little spot, and I have got quite a few picks from doing this. But even if you're not landing a kill and you're just damaging people's health, that's still a plus for your team. If you do happen to be defending the kitchen, restaurant, bird room, whatever, by jumping up on this side, you've got a nice little decorative... I'll try and stay up there. A nice little decorative piece of wood in amongst the concrete here in the uh, pillar. This is really good because it hides the majority of your body and allows you to just peek with your head. It makes it really difficult to spot you. And the other bonus to this is most people are going to be aiming at sort of head height. They're going to come around. They're not going to be looking up. They're going to be looking about here. So it gives you that split second advantage to land those headshots on the, uh, the enemy, on the attacker. The other option is by coming over to this blue cushion and doing a 180. Coming over to the wall. Um, this gives you a bit of a line of sight by opening this wall up. Now, I wouldn't do too much. I'm going to make it a bit bigger for you guys so you can see what's going on. But uh, you get a line of sight all the way through to the little reception area just outside of the restaurant. As you can see, the bullets sort of fall about here. So you can get quite a good line of sight. And they're not going to expect to be seeing anyone that soon as they're peeking the doorway. The other option is you can reinforce one of these walls. And that will add, give you a tiny bit of added protection, you know. In the kitchen itself, by placing a shield down just next to the fridge, you've got the fridge just on your right here. Uh, I've placed it quite far to the left just to give you a line of sight so you can see it. But you get a pixel peak, or you can create a pixel peak. You've got the fridge to protect you from the window. You obviously need to be careful of the hatch itself. But you can easily do jump outs here um, with a bit of barbed wire there just to give you notification. You can jump out, kill them, and you also get to keep an eye on this door over here. This is quite good for anchors. You do obviously need to be careful. I, I've made the shield. It's too far over to the left here, just as a demonstration, just as an example, so you can see what you get. However, you would make a pixel peek here, and it's very difficult for attackers to deal with. Want a cheeky little spot out in the center atrium? Over here, just by vaulting up on top of this, you've got this bamboo up here. Uh, by breaking it down, 
you then get a vault notification. You want to break as minimal amount of this as possible. So if you can break some and then sort of lie down into it, it will obscure you even more. So as you can see here, I lie down. It allows me to get further in. And you can keep going until you get right into the back here. You go as far back as you want. But look how hidden this is. It's a really cheeky spot. Um, I've seen a few YouTubers like use it now for to great effect. People have gone walking past and they've had no idea that they were there. As you can see, why the hell would someone be up there? Just outside of the offices, um, near the, the gold reception area, you can open up all the bottom of this section here. By opening it up, you will keep an eye on anyone that goes walking past. They're going to have to lie down into your line of sight and your bullets. So, by coming into the, the actual offices bit, you can lie down and you can get a bit of a line of sight. Through there is the elevator, as you'll probably know. So you can look through there, put some shields out here, create some pixel peaks. You get to protect yourself and view a high traffic area. Obviously, I've made the kill hole a lot higher than it would be normally. Just shotgun it even lower down than this. But you get to see people's feet as they come running past. It's, it is surprisingly handy. So, what works for drones also works for Valkyrie cameras. If you like putting your drone up on this spot here, you can also do it with Valk cams. Now, for those spawn peekers out there, there isn't much opportunity to do it on this map. However, what you can do is just outside of these windows, there's a little ledge over on the right here. You can actually see this white wall. If you wanted to chuck up a Valkyrie cam to keep an eye on the outside, you can do. Nine times out of ten, audio cues will be good enough. But as soon as you hear or see someone coming down, what you can do is you can align yourself with the correct window that they're going to be coming to and take their head clean off. By lying down just under the window and looking up, you can easily get some tasty picks. This happens on every single window. They've all got ledges on the extreme left and right. So if you want to put a camera out there, you can, but you will definitely get accused of being toxic getting kills this way. The other option with cams is in this center hallway on the first floor. Just at the top right here, you can throw your camera into in amongst this like sort of light area. And you would think this would be really obvious. But coming all the way down here, look at the angle. I can still see where I am. I can look all the way down this corridor, but I cannot see the camera. It's kind of like it's looking through the wall slightly, or it's just protruding very slightly, and can see more than you can see of it. So it is a really cheeky camera. It's extremely handy, and it's hidden by that black sign. Well, there you have it. That is everything I've got for you on this map. As I said, I really don't enjoy playing this map. It's probably because I don't know it well enough, but I felt like I've spent hours and hours walking around. And there's just not a lot to the map. It's just so straightforward. There's no real verticality, which for a tower is pretty ironic. But nevertheless, hopefully these will help you in your venture to work up through the ranks, or even if you're just playing casual. If this video helped you out at all and you learned anything new, please feel free to share it with your friends and with your other gaming buddies so that the word can get out about some of these spots and so it can help my channel, I'm not even going to lie. Four months away has really hit this channel hard, so any sharing you do will really be appreciated. If you don't already, make sure to follow me on Twitter to keep up with everything that's going on. I'll let you know when I'm live streaming and videos are going up and all that kind of stuff. And on top of that, if you don't already, make sure to join the Discord server. The link is in the description down below. And if we're playing ranked and have a spare slot, you can potentially join in games with us. But until next time, guys, stay reckless and relentless. No